Hi everyone, welcome to another video of Syncfix. In today's video, I'll be talking about how to add the swap space in Ubuntu 20.04. Here is my Ubuntu 20.04 installation and I need to add the swap space into this. I have provided you complete guide here and all the commands that I'll be using in this particular tutorial are mentioned here. The link is provided in the description also. I have my instance running on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. I'm only having 1 GB as a memory, which is primary memory. I need to add the swap space also. This will help you to make sure that the application performance is good. So first of all, I need to check whether there is the swap space already available or not. So I'll be using a sudo swap on and with the show extension. So you can see here, there is nothing right now. And if I show you uh, the available memory right now, also I'll see three dash H. You can see here right now, the total memory is 952 MB or one GB and out of this, 191 is used. Uh, swap is zero and zero bytes is there and but swap partition is not there. So I'll be checking uh, the available disk space here. So first of all, I'll see df-h. It will show me all the partitions which are available right now. So enough space is there. I have total 50 GB of the storage in this particular partition. So first step is to create the swap file. I'll be using fallocate program to create the file. Let me clear this screen now so that you can see it clearly. So it is sudo fallocate and dash L. And here you need to provide the total swap file size. So I'll be going for 8 GB, uh, whatever space is available, I'll be using 8 GB for the purpose of the swap file. So I'm adding swap file here. Now the swap file is added. Now if I want to list this swap file, so I'll be listing swap file. So you can see here, that one file which is created is 8 GB is available right now. I need to make sure that this particular file is accessible. Now the permissions are added here. Now we need to tell the system that this particular file has to be used as the swap space. MK swap and here it will be swap file. You can give of course any name to this file. Now if I show you here that though the file is made still I have not used this as a swap space. You can see here swap on is not showing anything here. So what I'll do here, I'll use here sudo swap on and I'll be using swap file. Now, if I use the command again, you will see here that the swap file of 8 GB is now available. I'll choose the same command free dash H. You can see here that swap is right now available 8 GB and out of this right now, nothing is being used. We have created the swap file. We have allocated this file to the swap space, but this is not permanent right now, which means that once the system will be restarted, uh, this will be automatically removed. We need to add this into FS tab to make sure that it automatically retains. So FS tab is usually available in the uh, ETC folder. So first of all, I'll be uh, taking the backup of existing FS tab files. So I'll be making a copy of the file. So sudo cp slash etc slash fs tab and then i'll be copying it to slash etc slash fs tab dot so this is a new file which is being created right now so now i'll be adding the swap at the end of this fs tab file and here in inverted commas you will mention here swap file and the command you have to use the same swap sw00 and here you will be using sudo t dash a slash etc slash fs tab in fact, there is another way also that I'll show you. So now it has been added. So in case if I want to edit this sudo nano slash etc slash fs tab enter, you will be seeing here that it has been added at the end of this file. So you can do that from there also, which will make sure that this particular file is added. So swap file has been added as a swap partition. So we need to see the swapping value We're doing cat slash rock system vm and here is swappiness. So right now the 60% so values that are closer to 100 will try to put more data into swap. If you want to set up your own value instead of 60%, you want to add 100% or 10% or whatever. I can in fact set up the swappiness also. So here I'll be doing sudo this CTL and here I'll be using vm.swappiness is equal to 50. This one I'll be copying here. I'll be going to the sysctl configuration. So here sudo nano and I'll be going to sysctl.con. And here at the bottom of this, I'll be adding that swappiness value which I have entered by myself. So here is 
swappiness. So this was all my settings here related to the swappiness. So here, one more thing that I need to set up is the adjusting the cash pressure setting cat rock. I need to check what is the value right now slash sys slash vm and vfs underscore cash underscore pressure. So you can see here pressure is right now 100%. So I'll be setting this up again to 50%. So I'll do sudo sys ctl vm dot vfs underscore cash underscore pressure is equal to so you can see here now vm cache is set to 50 now i'll be adding this vm cache again to the same config file so i'll be opening that config file here so sudo nano with a nano editor slash etc slash sys etl dot and here at the bottom of this file where i entered the swappiness earlier so i'll be adding that caching pressure so save and yes now everything is done here so the swap space is added and if i go back here again and check these two commands which i used which was sudo swap on show it will show me the swap file size and again if i want to see v h you can see here that right now zero is used so i'll be doing the reboot and then we will be checking it if everything is working fine now the server has restarted it should logically reload the configuration here so if i see sudo slash fs tap and you will see here down that this particular file is already added here and i show you the swap on sudo swap on show so you will see here that swap file is already there and if i show you three h so right now the swap file is be used so this is how you can create the swap file within your ubuntu server and uh, to create this i have provided the link in the description so you can use all these tools so hope you like this video see you next video take care and goodbye